Paul says, these things that I'm telling you about Christ, about the resurrection, about these things, about redemption. He says, nobody taught that to me. He says, I didn't get that from the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes. I got all of that by revelation. Oh, my God. This is why Paul says, I got so much revelation. There were things that, that I couldn't even talk about. He says in Corinthians, I mean, I, I mean, good. I was caught up and I was in the third heavens, second heavens. Uh, I, there were things I couldn't even utter. He said, God opened up my spirit and showed me so much stuff I can't even talk about. And Paul says he did it all by just download. He says, I didn't learn it. I didn't go to school for it. I was persecuting the church. I couldn't stand the church. I held the coats of those that stoned Stephen. But on my way to Damascus, he knocked me off my beast. And then set me aside to give me a revelation that even Peter, James, and John didn't know. What was the revelation? What is the gospel? It is the fact that Jesus' spirit was raised from the dead. It was Paul that got that revelation and then brought it to the body of Christ. Therefore, Paul was the first one to reveal to us that this is about a spiritual dimension. Put your hand on yourself and say, this is about a spiritual dimension. That the work of Jesus Christ in my life all happens in my spirit. Nothing changes with my eyes, my eye color, my nose, my hair. None of that changes. All that's going to change one day, that's when you get your glorified body. That's not what changed in you. What changed was the operation that took place in your spirit. That your spirit literally was resurrected. Do you know what that means? That means there is no debt in you that the born again experience the resurrection of your spirit was literally the removal of all sin and death out of it There is literally no sin in you. I know what your question is. Then what's wrong with me then? <laughs> we'll get there. I got to get you to think this because ever since the Lord has been dealing with me, about this, my wife has received a better husband. Because I'm learning to compartmentalize myself. So now let's deal with this spiritual dimension because when Adam died, sin now became the nature of our spirits. This is why we needed it resurrected. This is why it had to be born again. Because out of our spirits came death and every manifestation with it. Out of our spirits came lying and stealing. And in other words, when Adam sinned, his spirit 
died, which means I told you spiritual death is the removal of God's image, his essence out of it. He was still a spirit being. He was just a dead man walking. He was still spirit, but his spirit was separated from God, estranged from God. And literally what Adam contracted was the nature of Satan. Because he was originally the first dead spirit. <laughs> That's what happened to him. When God kicked him out, he stripped him of any authority. He stripped him of the anointing that was on his life. And Satan literally lost his mind. This is why he's so twisted and perverted. That's why everything about him is in the polar opposite direction of God. He is diametrically opposed. If God is love, now he's hate. If God, you understand what I'm saying? Because he has lost to his nature. He's a dead spirit. That's what he is. And when Adam sinned, he joined the company of the dead. And then cursed us all into spiritual death. No matter who was born, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, all the way down from Noah. You remember when God destroyed the planet? Wiped it out. Said, man, is so evil. This is not my plan for them. Wiped the whole planet and started over with Noah. And the moment Noah got off the boat, what did he do? He ended up drunk. And naked in a tent. Why? Because the nature of sin was cursed upon all humanity. It was in us to lie, to steal. Our spirit, all of that was spiritual death. Jesus comes on the scene. And when you get born again, your spirit literally goes through a new creation. These are not just words. These are things that happen. Your spirit is recreated. It goes through a reviving and a resurrection. And all that we contracted in Adam, all our spirits contracted, was literally removed out of it. And God didn't take another spirit to replace yours with he took the same spirit that was in Jesus and recreated yours with it this is why the Bible says the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will also quicken your mortal bodies Listen, child of God, you didn't get some type of knockoff brand spirit. You didn't get some kind of generic spirit. You got the same spiritual resurrection that Jesus got. Oh, put your hand on your head and say, oh, God, help me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. This is why the Bible says, and he raised us up together. You went through the same resurrection if you have been born again. Your spirit went through the exact same process. The same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus' spirit from the dead is the same Holy Spirit that raised yours from the dead. And as you sit there this morning, your spirit man has the same image as Christ. <laughs> 